Buckley, okay. This is Buckley. Buckley? Yep. We got Chris Buckley entering the cage. Chris Buckley is a humble guy. I've interviewed him a couple of times. Well spoken, a U.S. veteran. Uh, there's so much to say about him, but he's such like a mellow, humble guy, and, but he's a vicious killer inside the cage. You know why I like Chris Buckley? Chris Buckley was originally scheduled to fight a guy named Kenny Gordon. Kenny Gordon just won the 155 title of Cage Wars 34. I've trained with Kenny, he's a tough guy. It fell out for whatever reason, but Buckley said, I still want to fight. So he kept asking the promoters to get him a fight. He is a fighter, that's what he does. So luckily they were able to reach out to Mike Wacker down at Black Hole Jiu-Jitsu and get Demetrius Demigod Plaza up here to, to, uh, to compete with Chris. Yeah, I agree 100%. You know, great job by uh, promoter Tim Rankin for getting Chris Buckley a fight. This is not an easy task on such short notice to bring in a fighter. Um, but that's a, that's a match I'd like to see those two end up having later on in time is Gordon versus Buckley. Yeah, and hey, who knows? Buckley may not get by Plaza. It might be Plaza and Kenny. You're, you're right. But as of right now, this is a non-title fight. Yes, sir. He is our Cage Wars MMA ch uh, welterweight champion. But the title is not on the line for this fight. Demetrius Plaza entering the cage, a black hole BJJ. The only fighter of the evening entering the cage. One thing we always know about black hole jiu-jitsu is they're gonna be ready to go on the ground. You know, their coach Mike Wacker had a submission grappling match with Diego Sanchez. He is a wizard on the ground. They call it Wacker's wizardry. Now, Chris Buckley's 3-1, so he doesn't necessarily need shin guards or, or novice rules in the MMA, but his opponent is making an <coughs> MMA debut, and he requires the shin guards. So major props to Buckley, like you mentioned, because he doesn't have to take a fight where you have to no. use shin guards. See, it's a different fight, let's be honest. It's a different fight when you can't strike to the head. It's 100% it's different. I give him a lot of credit. Like I said, he was on Facebook every week, every Cage Wars post, like, hey, you got to fight for me yet. you got to fight for me yet. I mean, he's ready to go. Yeah, you can see he's in there pacing back and forth. How much of an advantage is it for Buckley to have fights inside a cage compared to Plaza, who's never fought before? There's advantages, but at the same time, we talked about those the shin guards and the inability to punch in the face. Doing jiu-jitsu and doing jiu-jitsu getting punched in the face is different. So that may give Demetrius so an actual edge. In his cage, yes, in his corner, especially coming from Wacker's camp. Interesting, and I'm ready to see this one get going. Tom Kilkenny from the USMCA walking around making sure things are on point. Great, great guy, Tom Kilkenny. Yep. Runs a great show. You know he's got to be a tough guy if his nickname's a librarian. You said the librarian? Yeah, it's his nickname. Yeah, he's got to be a tough he's guy. Slinging books back and forth at people. He's got to be a tough guy. If that, I agree. <laughs> Demetrius is ready. He's got that weight ready on Let's that. Let's see front how well he can read go. his opponent. Meeting him right in the middle. Good head movement. Good head movement by Demetrius. A little jab right there by Plaza. Good front kick. Buckley going for those heavy shots, one, two. Yeah, Buckley's a guy that's not afraid to get in there and throw punches back and forth. No, but I, I didn't see a ton of jujitsu in ground game last fight, so let's see what, let's see if Demetrius can bring that. Demetrius can bring that. 
fighters feeling each other out, patient inside the ring. For being an 0-0 fighter, the demigod's comfortable in the middle. And Plaza's going for the take, take big takedown by Plaza on the Big <coughs> Wars champion. Now this is a non-title fight, ladies and gentlemen, a last minute fight, but big round, for, big takedown for Plaza. That's yep. gotta boost your confidence. Absolutely, and he's staying, he's keeping his composure. If you notice, he's got Buckley's right knee between his legs, he should be able to clear that in a moment. Buckley appears more to just be holding on to try to find something more hopeful to stand up. How difficult is this when you're against the cage and you're back to it? Leaves you not very little room to do much. Yeah, because it's not like you use your feet, your head's against the cage. It's not like your feet are against it where you can wall, wall walk off of it. So he's in a tough spot right now. Let's see if uh, Dimitri can take advantage of that. Pulls that arm free. We hear Wacker talking and telling him to pass that half guard, just like I talked about, pass that right knee. Buckley's trying to keep his feet up. He's using that right foot on the cage when he can. Buck Buckley's doing a good job avoiding some shots, but Plaza's landing some heavy shots. Wacker's calling for the pass. He wants him to pass this open guard. If you notice, Buckley's right foot is on the left hip of Dimitri. He should shuck that to the side. Buckley's doing a good job right now with hand control, grabbing his wrists of his of Plaza. Very crucial in any sport when there's uh, you know, grappling, his hand control. But at the same time, if he's got those hands, both in his hands, he can't strike. He can't really do much, so he's just negating Dimitri's Trying offense. to get that stand up by the referee yes. if he is. He's also, while he's holding the hands, it's almost like he's steering wheeling him with his yep. feet trying to move him around where he wants him. Now Dimitri's trying to pass. Buckley's doing a good job. Yeah, he's, you know, he's taking some heavy shots to the body, but he's also avoiding a lot by using Dimitri's the hand trying to go north-south, though. He's trying to get control. Let's see if he can take it. Here comes the heavy uh, hip pressure if by Buckley's Plaza. smart, he'd wall walk. See, again, right now, Buckley's just trying to hold on. 30 seconds left. If this stays as is, I give this round to Dimitri. I would have to agree with you, you know, the, the whole control from him, it definitely goes to the uh, the challenger, I guess you could say. Yes. And again, that goes to what we talked about, doing jujitsu and doing jujitsu, getting punched in the face with these shin guards, that changed that rule a little bit. Definitely 100%, but you know, that's the confidence that Plaza just gained by bringing down the Cage Wars champion. Major, major points for Plaza. There's gonna be some adjustments I would have to assume by uh, Buckley. You know, he, I guess you could say, not a veteran, but he's been in the game for a while. This is his fifth fight. He's gonna make some adjustments, I think, to the takedown attempt by Plaza. I hope so, but <clears throat> I was actually surprised there wasn't more transition attempts, there wasn't more uh, attempts to, to move on the ground by Buckley. Like I said, he was more, more happy to, to basically try to control that and stall the action and negate the attack of Dimitri. And Buckley's up off his stool right away. He looks... Eric he, Gillette, the coach, I, telling him to breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, bring that heart rate down. He feels this fighter may need to come down a little bit. I feel like a lot of fighters would be frustrated at that point, but, you know, he kind of regained his... Compo not, he kind of got back within it with the hand control and refocusing. I'm looking forward to the round two of this fight so between round Plaza two, and Buckley. In the middle. Dimitri takes the middle of the cage. Head movement side to side. He's very confident, you can see it. Buckley switching the stance, hoping that changes something up for him a little bit. Plaza did a great job with his takedown before by throwing a couple of punches and shooting right after. Yes, yeah, now right. look, Buckley's trying to use that jab. Trying to make him respect that a little bit so he can't just come in for that takedown. Now Shrake, the, the uh, jab will keep your uh, shooting opponent yes. at bay, won't it? Yes, yeah, so you make him respect you a little bit. If they don't have to respect you coming in, they're not going to. It looks like Buckley's trying to find a time to unload that right hand. Henderson yeah, before style. he came through with a wild. There we go, uh, yep. Trying to go with that wild right hand. And there's the adjustment to the. Uh... Oh. <clears throat> Dimitri. Oh, oh, punching in the belly. Buckley looks like he's done. Wow. TKO ref wow. stoppage. Wow. Punches to the stomach. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen that. 
I wasn't sure if it, at first if it was a nut shot or not, no, but that's, it was that's straight to the ribs. Big win for Demetrius Plaza. Wow. Great job, Mike Wacker. And, and he did a great job there. adjusting to the shot, the takedown. Yep. Fought it off, and then Demetrius Plaza followed through with some phenomenal knees to the body. Yeah, you can tell Buckley's very upset with himself in the outcome. He's very upset. That's, you know, like we said, you know, I was, we said, you like, can't take him for granted even though he's the champ. The guy comes in, he's three and one, the champion of Cage Wars, non-title fight, and he's 0-0, and he has a big win. Again, Wacker's camp, though, 0-0 guys, they've got such great experience grappling that it really brings them up a level. So this might be a rematch I'd like to see later on after they're both out of a, a novice rules MMA. I want to see a rematch. I agree. Let's talk to Slim about that. Yeah. Great, great sportsmanship. Great. Round two win for Demetrius Plaza via knees. That's what I like to see, though. Great sportsmanship. Both parties. 100%. You know, for most sports, I think we may have, might have the most sportsmanship. And we're going to throw it up to Ryan Peterson, our ring announcer. Eric Gillette from Five Element on MMA, again showing great sportsmanship with Mike Wacker and Dimitri. That's again, you gotta love this sport. Mike for that Wacker, reason. from what I understand, is one of the top uh, jiu-jitsu trainers in the area. He really, really is. He comes up from down south in Wapping, Jersey. Trains with Brian Geary quite often. Again, you know, he had that submission grappling match with Diego Sanchez. Mike Wacker is not to be messed with on the ground. They also brought in Ellis Harris down there for their boxing, so they're really trying to bring in some quality coaches to bring that team up. Big win for Demetrius Plaza via knees, you know. For a guy who's never fought before, he looked like he's been in there. He used to closure, you know, he didn't get 